Yo, that fish over there looking kind of right. Cuz. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Keep It 99 Reviews. Today we are on episode two, season two of Invincible. But before we get on to that, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Overall 99 Media, make sure you subscribe to the guys. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Unico Williams, UNIQO Space Williams on YouTube and on all social media. You know where to find me. Okay. Uh but this episode is titled In about six hours, I lose my virginity to a fish. So man, Mark ain't got none. Reason why I ask is because this episode starts off with Mark about to graduate. It's time for college, y'all. But you know he still worked for Cecil. So Cecil has asked him to go stop that like psionic dude that um when him and Adam E was hanging out in the woods back in season one and like, he was like messing with lava and stuff like that. Well, he's messing with, he now he's, he's trying to mess up government American monuments. Right. So this time he goes to that big old tower thing. Uh, I don't even know what that's called. Maybe it's a library, but it's a big old like tower thing and, and has like in Washington, DC it's overlooking like this. I don't know, like a reflection pool or something. I don't know. And so he's like messing that up and trying to put it back into the earth because it's all like earth crazy and everything belongs to earth. And he has these like lava men, but you won't forget last time on Dragon Ball Z, he fell into the lava. So I don't know how he survived, but I guess that's what he does. He's got these little seismic booster things that push Invincible back. Invincible eventually wins. Cool. He makes it to graduation. We find out that his middle name is Sebastian. All right, cool. Mark's all graduated. Debbie's pissed um, because he almost missed graduation working for Cecil. And Debbie believes that Cecil just wants control because he couldn't do nothing with Omni Man, right? So, our next step in the parade is we got this whole Debbie situation. She's ready to go out. I'm about to go, I'm about to go sell stuff. Cool. I'm about to go, I'm about to go sell some combs. And his brother is dating this girl and they looking to see if they want to buy this house and he like i'll make all the money you ain't he was being a dick like dude was being a dick like he deserved everything and then debbie said she's not your pet and he said what you say you know brother got upset and then dude sent her home for the day she's upset and there's this cabinet that won't close her house it sets over the edge mark comes in there debbie's going through it right now y'all because like they feel so betrayed both of them and they also feel guilty for loving omni man aka nolan they both feel guilty for this, right? So we move on to another storyline. Let's go a couple of streets down. Let's go to Adam Eve's house. Her dad is a dick, but I'd kind of be a dick too if I used to work at a furniture store and then in this big fight in Chicago between Omni Man and Invincible, you kind of destroy home office. And so he has to work at the burger place that Mark used to work at. Um, he has to work there and he's barely making it by. She made a uh, she so so Adam Eve. She's telling her mom. She's like, I got you. Like y'all tripping. I got you. I can literally make anything. We can be millionaires if we wanted to. Matter of fact, here's a 24 karat gold apple. Go sell it. Her dad's like, I don't need your help. We don't need this. Whatever, whatever. Adam Eve comes back, and it's in the trash. Her mom is going for it. I think dude be beating on her mama too. By the way, he might need to. He might need to learn a lesson or two. But her dad is a dick, man. I can't stand that dude. So those are those like outlier storylines but let's get to mark cecil calls him in again and he be on, cecil be on bullshit so because of what no 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 oh here's one more side story then the lizard league who i just figured out was like uh a, um a a parody of the cobra force from gi joe they're a parody of them i just realized that so yeah they did some attacking and the Martian actually made it back to Earth. So that was kind of cool. And he's actually a cool dude and wants to be like a human. 
So he calls himself the shapeshifter and he helps them out, whatever. Now there's, he's in the Guardian. Speaking of which, Duplicate is a hoe. Like, she just, she don't just lose a body. Like, she, she don't just catch bodies. Like, since she can duplicate, she can be three people and three people can catch bodies. And it's crazy. And yeah, anyway. Yeah, so the Immortal took down Duplicate. Rexplode, he's upset about that. Whatever, side stories. Yeah, so Mark has to go to Atlantis because Atlantis is mad because Omni-Man killed Aquaman of that universe, the fish guy. They they killed him. And so he got to pay. And the way that they pay up is you have to do a ceremony where you get married. He gets Mark gets down there. She says, the queen of Atlantis says, no, nah, we don't do that. That's outdated. What we do do is, though, you got to go fight, you know, the, 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 the death dweller. And it looked like a little cute little thing. You'll see it on the two on the uh, uh, thumbnail. It looks like a little cute little thing, and it's not. It's 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 a big monster. Uh, gets loose, starts killing people. Mark comes back. He's like, I got to make this right, and he goes and handles that. Saves the people. The important part of this episode. Langston. Homegroom or whatever his name is. So the guy that got the black guy that got jacked up at the end of the episode because he was trying to take the knowledge of all of his like multiversal stuff so he can be super smart so he can destroy the invincible of his world. Um, what ends up happening is they're showing an, an a universe where Mark is like bound in this red room, and. This alternate version version of Cecil and uh, his sidekick, they're girls. They they gender swap. It's, they look really weird. And it's kind of funny. But what he's doing, Langston Armstrong, Armstrong, Angstrom. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all y'all look it up. Look it up and and uh, uh, give me right in the comments. I would appreciate that. But Angston Levy is that his name? Angstrom Levy. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Voila. So he his whole goal is to figure out like how these other infinite invincibles, the ones that got beat, because they say that in a lot of the alternate realities, invincible goes with his dad. So our reality is the one where invincible actually didn't go through with it. Um and it, so the other ones though, they they went with Omni Man. And so and so at the, so that's our big like surprise at the end. Somebody caught him, and so he said, "So how do you how they do it?" And he said, "If I tell you, I'll help you out." Of course, he's lying, but he was like, uh, "They did some kind of experimental bombs that we didn't understand, and it still took out like seventy percent of Europe to do it." But they killed Omni Man. They found a way to kill Omni Man, but they had to take out most of Europe, and then. With Mark, the way they caught him is they they caught him when he finally had to get some sleep, and that's when they caught him. So she's taking that information, and then he left, and he said he's he's like you know I'm not your problem. He is. Well, he's not that particular invincible is not my problem, but I'm just saying. So that was episode uh, two, episode two of season two of Invincible. It was it was cool. I I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm loving every Friday, Invincible Fridays. It's not quite touching. Um, Baller Friday! But also, you should also like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Overall 99 Media. Also, make sure that you subscribe to me, Unico Williams, on YouTube. So thank you for tuning in to another episode of Keep It 99 Reviews. Uh Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bringing you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.